This is the benchmark lookout, and it is a detection point for fire finding. Uh, I have to uh, come in service at 9.30 in the morning, and uh, from then on, I'm pretty much just looking around the landscape for smokes. I need to spend a good portion of every hour scanning the, the panorama. This is our third season uh, as lookouts, and previously in my youth I was a, f a firefighter for eight years. I was a crew boss on a 20-man crew, so I have, I know what to look for, <laughs> basically. They live up here. Um, they, they chose to do that. It is a livable space in the actual tower, and it's comfortable, and uh, they typically staff uh, 10 days straight and then take anywhere from two to four days off and then back for another 10 days throughout the summer. Typically it's staffed from mid-May through mid-September, kind of the peak fire season. Luckily my wife and I get along beautifully and um, this is the best job in the world, honestly. So we've got the Horse Park fire just to, to our north, approximately 12 miles. Started a couple days ago, a couple of evenings ago by lightning. And uh, so this lookout tower has a perfect view to the north of that fire. So it's very valuable in the sense of, um, you know, small fires could, could turn into large fires if they're undetected. So if they're going detected and we don't have any uh, fixed wing aircraft recons flying the, and the lookout is not staffed with an actual individual in the tower, then we cannot locate fires and they could get larger, especially this year um, when we're in exceptional drought conditions and the fuels are very dry. A fire that goes undetected could uh, turn into a large fire and we'd have a uh, delayed response if we don't detect that fire early. Huge value. Um, this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is a critical point uh, of detection. I love it. Uh, I mean, this is where we belong, outside. It's inside, but it's outside. There's a saying that this, the worst day uh, at work for us is your best day on vacation. <laughs>